like to find the truth. See, Europeans do not do research to find the truth. Europeans research to reinforce white supremacy. And whatever they try to do, that's all they do their research for. And I, and I, I say that, and I can even document it, it said, uh, despite evidence such as metal crap, that's the thing in Brazil, and sites from Canada to Brazil dated as old as 47,000 years, the theory has refused to die, that, despite, despite evidence, the theory has refused to die. You know, you know, there's a theory that the bumblebee can't fly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you know that? And they made those great big bombers as troop carriers, because I've been in a couple. And that's the theory, you know. Instead of saying the theory is untenable, they say, no, we'll hold the theory. The bumblebee's wings are... The bumblebee's wings are too small to carry its body. Hey, what you doing up there? Don't you know you can't fly? <laughs> So it says it sprouts new variations to fit new finds and is so malleable that the old school managers twist it. So what they say is they came along here, they got to insist they came here, and they came down here and went up over 14,000 foot mountains and then came down here and set. Inside! Inside! But you see what the problem is is when your child is sitting in class and your child is saying, oh, gee, if I wanted to leave Africa and get over here, I'd go this way. And he's only five years old. And you say, no, they went this way. Or they went to your child is somebody saying, well, you know how your child is saying, it seems to me if I want to get across the street, I'd go with the shortest corner, you know. Right. And the child is fighting reality and you are feeding him lies. Right. You know, like the Easter Bunny don't lay no eggs, you know. Bunny right. <laughs> don't lay eggs. Right. <laughs> you take him to the store and you buy him a bunny and bring it home and he say you got the wrong bunny. <laughs> If you were white, you'd have got the right money. He's still, you know, because he's believing a lot. Check this out. Some researchers, that's the people that are intubacated, say they keep quiet about fines, which is they keep quiet about the truth, that may undermine the dogma, that's the lie, for fear of being denied grant money doled out of the old school. So now, if they're going to say whatever, they pay you to stop. And what they're going to pay you to say to people that have power is the white supremacy. But if you know the truth and if you're doing your work in this study group, the minute somebody says 47,000 years, their people are here, bam, your brain should say, well, they have to be Africans because the Neanderthals were still roaming around in Europe 35,000 years ago. See, if you begin to get the truth, the minute somebody tells you a lie, you'll say, uh-uh, uh-uh, that don't work. That don't work. But you don't have to believe me because I know how you all are, and I know I'm black, and I haven't brought anybody white to validate what I've said. So let me read it in the book here. <laughs> We will have become liberated when John Henry Clark and Lance Jeffries and Chuck and McIntyre, etc., are more credible to you than Yale. Yeah. 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 Dr. a dear friend of mine, they just left his new book, his own first book, The Roundings with My Brother, is reissued. But Fam U is where I sent my kids where Joseph Baldwin teaches. And believe me, Joseph Baldwin is doing better in fam you than he would be doing in Yale. I mean, we have to really get up with that. But if the oldest date is correct, he's saying the 47,000, wrote Brian Fagan in Archaeology Magazine. You know, that's a scientific magazine. This is real. This is just Newsweek. <laughs> that human beings were living in the new world at a time when the Amazons flourished in Europe. See, you don't have to believe Shashi. You don't have to believe little primitive Shashi with her two, you know, primitive background. <laughs> Bam, the brain should, the brain should, the brain should, the brain should say that all the time. The brain should, the brain should. 
say, everything the white man tells me is a lie. That's what my brain says. Everything the white man tells me. But this year, this year, 1992, much of the sprinklings of the truth are going to surface because we're competing and we all want to get more money and we're all going to do more things. But also because white people want you to know how to interpret the truth. I said, even when they tell the truth, they lie. And this is what my students said, well, why do you think they put this magazine out? But I do with it. You know, why do you think they put out? They put a lot of truth in this magazine. I mean, for them. <laughs> Any truth is a lot of truth. Was Columbus a Jew? Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, is that anti Semitic? <laughs> Talk about. They tell you the truth about Vasco da Gama. You know how you read about all these great voyages? Columbus and his four faithful voyages. I'm going to tell you about Columbus's voyages. The Gama's passage to India. They tell you he only got this far and then he went back and then his fleet went. And Magellan's trip around the world. Magellan died down here. His ships went around the world. His, he, his, is at the bottom of Tierra del Fuego. Here's a Magellan trip around the world. Magellan died at the bottom of South America. And I saw the guy going away. He looked around the other side and said, oh, there's a long trip there. I'm going up there. I learned that Magellan circumnavigated the world. That's where it happened. Yes, it is. Circumnavigation. Ain't gone nowhere. You know, when you think about it, and then after Columbus made his trip, he got back and they made him Admiral of the Ocean Sea. And he all sit there and say, oh, that's impressive. Who the hell is the Admiral of the Sea? How many of you are veterans? <laughs> How many of you have been in the service? You're General of the Army or you're Admiral of a Navy. You can't get to sea to get up and fight nobody. <laughs> admiral of the Sea, think about it. That's as jive as you can get, right? That's like making me Queen of New York. <laughs> you know, see, they tell you this stuff, but you think, you know, it's like you need to raise your hand and say to the teacher, excuse me, but what does Admiral of the Ocean see? Is it an ocean or is it a sea? And what does Admiral of the Sea do? You just say, whales, dolphins, get up here and eat the ships? What do you do with the Admiral of the Sea? That's jive. That's just pure jive. You understand what I'm saying? But we sit there, this docile, never think a thought. We never think a thought. We never think a thought. In our Bibles, we call him Christopher Colombo. He was born Christopher Colombo. He changed his name to Christopher Colombo. Then he changed his name to Cristobal Colombo because he created a colony. The first thing Columbus did was create a colony. He left 39 people here. One of my colleagues, white, said, well, they didn't have enough room because the ship got broke. I said, he took 27 of my ancestors back to ran away, so we got 25. So he could have left only four, oh, 13 here. He left the colony here. He came to find a colony. Why was Cristoforo Colombo looking for colony? He left Spain the day after 100,000 Jews were expelled. Was Columbus a Jew? I don't know. There's a whole book by Madari Aga that charts enough uh, evidence to suggest he could as easily have been a Jew as anything else because you can't find anything on Columbus. You can't find his birth certificate. He knew Sebastian Cabas, whose name was, uh, uh, oh, I forgot. And he knew uh, Verrazano, he knew Cabral. Were all these suckers Jews? That, that would explain all this major exploration, because who were the people who needed a homeland? Jews. Everybody else had a nation. Who were the people being kicked out of Europe? Everybody else had a nation. You know, why don't we do some anthropological studies on those people? And I don't mean this negatively, but it seems to me like the Muslims had gone back to Africa. 
The Portuguese said, Yeah, Portugal, the 